Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Medium Core. In this episode, I'm going to be filling out this tower, changing the floor to dark oak, um, probably filling in some small space at the wall, uh, lowering the ceiling to whatever I deem fitting, making a staircase going slightly around and into the big tower which will be finished soon. But yeah, so that's that's what we're doing in today's episode. And I still need to think about a farm that I can put in here. Uh, but I also need to get more dark oak. I don't have enough dark oak. So I can probably... I can probably think about what kind of farm I want while I do dark oak. But I think the first thing I'll do is measure it to see if I can fit a pumpkin and melon farm because a pumpkin and a melon farm would be ideal because those make great trades always could have an infinite source of emeralds and I don't really think I need any other kind of farms to be honest because the main point of the sugarcane farm is for paper for rockets which is also why I'm gonna have a mob farm in the center so yeah I might just do, I might measure it to see if I can fit a, a, a well-proportioned pumpkin and mountain farm. Actually, I've got enough dark oak to really start, so yeah. I'm going to get the floor replaced and then do some measurements, and I will be right back. Well, isn't this a familiar sight? Another little room ready to be filled with something. And something has been decided. I've decided that I'm actually going to make a kelp farm uh, along this back wall here. And then, which, with the extra space that I should have, I'm going to make a small, small little super smelter so I can get a large quantity of dried kelp blocks. Because I need a good source of fuel. And dried kelp blocks are a great source of fuel. Uh, I decided I didn't really... There wasn't, there was a, there was space for a melon and pumpkin farm here, I just didn't really, I decided I didn't really need it, because what am I, what am I going to do with melons and pumpkins, because I don't actually trade that much, um, and when I do, that's what the iron farm is for, so, kelp farm it is, the first things I gotta do is make sure I have enough kelp, and... Don't, so I am going to have to go out and get more kelp before I can make the kelp farm, which shouldn't be that hard. I'm, I live I live by an ocean. Very small ocean, but it's an ocean. So yeah, I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to go ahead and build the farm outright and then decorate the room separately. So I'll show you how that's going to look. The kelp farm is done in place and actually not taking up nearly as much space as I expected. Um, yeah. It's, it's actually kind of ugly. I should have used a, some kind of stained glass so that we didn't have this rigid texture. That's my bad. But it's just a simple design. Uh, observer's Pistons is not entirely lossless. Uh, though it's mostly lossless, it's about it just depends on the speed of the growth of these bottom kelp blocks. Because in the bottom one where it's narrow when they fire, all these water sources get removed. So if none of the kelp grows fast enough, stuff like that can happen. It can get stuck um, underneath flowing water. Uh, Usually that doesn't happen though, because usually they grow in less than five minutes, so it's not a huge issue, so I'm not going to lose much, if any. And it is actually producing, I just got done with it, but it is actually producing. Got a, I think that's about two stacks more than I started with. So yeah, it's, it's, it's chugging along nicely. It's going to be really handy, and obviously that's a temporary storage solution. Um, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot bigger storage because it should hopefully produce more than that. So the next step is to begin creating a 
pathway that kind of winds up this wall, goes by the uh, farm, and then ends up somewhere over here. Uh, so I'm going to need to get some dark oak slabs, which means I'm going to need to mine a lot more dark oak. And yeah, I'll be back when that pathway is all completed. Alright, it may not look like much, but it's it's there. It's a nice curved staircase heading up around this wall. It's nice and lit up, leading all the way to what will soon be a little entrance to the top floor. And then about here-ish. I'm going to have a little extrusion, and then I'm going to bring the uh, s the um, storage for the kelp farm down, and then that'll make this even more functional. So I'm going to do that, and I'm also just going to go right ahead and finish up in this area building that super smelt, well, furnace array in this little corner here. And then that'll be everything for today's episode. It's it's been a really productive episode, but it's been and it's been quite a work, but it's been fun. It's been nice doing things that are different. It's been nice not doing this for four hours. You know? It's it's been nice. It's not much, but it'll suit my needs just fine. Um I also elected to have the uh, fronts facing open so I could distribute fuel how I wanted instead of through a cart because it could be that I have only one coal and I want to smelt something in the furnace that's closest to me. So, so that part's manual. The only really automatic part is the output which will come down there and the input which goes in this chest and then you flick this lever and it gets evenly distributed, but it takes a couple passes. Um, right now it's just filled with coal. But eventually, kelp. Speaking of kelp, I I made the farm look a lot nicer. And I also expanded this walkway to come all the way up here right up next to the farm. Got my little storage design here. And I added this nice deep slate trim around the edge of the farm. Uh, it makes it look nicer, but it also makes it so that when you're standing here, you can't just see straight through the farm. And it makes it harder to see underneath the stairs, which I like. Um, obviously there's this little kind of dead space, but what can you do? <laughs> Dead space. And then this area back here is also pretty barren. I have lit it up to the best of my ability, and yeah, I've got this trim here too, so that when you're so if you stand here, you can't just see a plane shot straight through to the other side. Um, but yeah, as you saw, it's actually producing kelp pretty well. I wonder if I can reach that from here. Ah, uh, now it's blocked by the uh, rest of the farm, or the rest of the uh, railing, but yeah, it's it hasn't been that long, and it is producing quite well. Oh, I've got my sneaky little crafting table in there. And then, one more thing I did, because I had a little extra time, I made this little doorway out into the big tower, and the big tower is actually done. Well, the base of it is. And I also refilled my deep slate supply since I ran out. So yeah, I had, a, I, had a, I had a bit of spare time, so I decided to just get a lot done in this episode. So yeah, made a kelp farm, made a smelter, filled out that entire tower, and I finished the base layer for the tower. So in the next episode, instead of doing the same thing that I've done several times, I can actually work on something different. The crenellations of the tower, and I think I see a snow layer there, and I don't like that. But yeah. So, the next episode will most likely be 
me completely finishing the tower by adding the crenellations on top. So then there's only going to be one place to go from there, and that's the big boy. Enderman. Anyway, I've gotten, I've actually gotten quite a bit done in this episode. It was a very productive episode, and I, uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, because that is all I'm going to do for today's episode of Minecraft Medium Core. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.